Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our channel, you may know that the news of the US ban on Chinese EUV technology. In recent years, the United States has suppressed China more and more frequently, mainly in the semiconductor, artificial intelligence, high-performance computing and other industries, and the core of these high-tech is the chip. So the implementation of chip restrictions has become an important means. For example, Huawei has achieved global leadership in 5G technology, and the United States has focused on implementing a chip ban. To completely solve the chip problem, the key lies in the lithography machine. To this end, China has been working hard, and recently domestic lithography machines have ushered in new breakthroughs. To the surprise of the US, behind China's years of forbearance, there is such a large amount of energy hidden. The Biden team feels unprecedented pressure. The rise of Made in China has been recognized by the global market. The United States also understands that lithography machines are the core equipment for chip manufacturing, and high-end lithography machines are inseparable from the production of high-end chips. Therefore, as long as the high-end series of lithography machines are controlled, the development of Chinese chips to high-end can be hindered. There were lithography machine companies in the United States that did well before, but they all went bankrupt due to poor management. Today, the global lithography machine companies are mainly ASML in the Netherlands, Nikon and Canon in Japan, and Shanghai Microelectronics in China. However, Shanghai Microelectronics can only achieve a maximum of 90 nanometers, and Nikon and Canon in Japan also mainly ship low-end lithography machines. Therefore, when you mention lithography machines, you will think of ASML, which currently occupies about 90% of the global market share. Most. As a result, ASML has become the focus of the United States. It has previously restricted EUV shipments to Chinese companies, resulting in the inability of SMIC to purchase and slow progress in advanced manufacturing processes. Now, it is necessary to expand the restrictions and want ASML to restrict DUV. It can be seen from this that the restrictions on lithography machines are getting tighter and tighter, and the development of Chinese chips must break through lithography machines. In this regard, Ren Jingfei of Huawei has long understood, so he has insisted on investing more in research and development. Especially after being sanctioned by the United States, Ren Jingfei even stated that he does not have any illusions about American technology, so Huawei's R&D investment accounts for a larger proportion. In fact, it is not just Huawei. Since the United States began to impose chip restrictions on China, domestic enterprises and scientific research institutions have completely awakened and understood the importance of self-controllable core technologies. So there has been a wave of chip autonomy in China. The lithography machine industry is no exception. In addition to Shanghai Microelectronics, industrial chain companies and related R&D institutions are working hard. For example, U-Precision Tech has independently developed a dual workpiece platform for the core subsystem of the lithography machine, which can be used for 65 to 28 nanometers immersion lithography machines, which directly broke the technological monopoly of ASML 
and became the second company in the world to master this core technology. Company of There is also Kui Hongyuan, which has conquered the DUVRF light source, that is, the immersion 193 nanometers eczema laser, and is still working on the 13.5 nanometers EUV light source. It is the only high-energy eczema laser R&D and manufacturing enterprise in China and the third in the world. There is also Guowang Optical, which is working on the RF immersion lithography exposure optical system at the 28 nanometers node, and it is going very smoothly. It is worth mentioning that Harbin Institute of Technology, one of the seven sons of national defense, is also helping the research and development of domestic lithography machines. In February of this year, Harbin Institute of Technology successfully developed a high-speed ultra-precision auroral interferometer, which won the gold medal of the Golden Flame Award of the World Photon Conference. This technology can be applied to 350 nanometers to 28 nanometers process lithography machines, providing technical support for China's domestic lithography machines. In April this year, Harbin Institute of Technology made another breakthrough and successfully developed the electric energy conversion plasma circuit technology, which can realize DPP UV light source. Although there is still a gap with the light source standards required by ASML's EUV, the technology has been realized. The light source is the core of the core of the lithography machine. At present, the most powerful one is the American company Sima, which is the only one that can produce ultra-high-end EUV light sources. ASML's EUV light source comes from Sima, so ASML's EUV is restricted by the United States. Although ASML acquired Sima in 2012, the EUV technology comes from the Intel-led LCC EUV consortium. Today, China has also conquered the EUV light source technology not only the DPP UV light source of Harbin Institute of Technology, but also the high-energy synchronous light source equipment of the Chinese Academy of Sciences and the SSMB light source of Tsinghua University, which have laid a solid foundation for the realization of domestic EUV. The breakthroughs of these Chinese companies are all helping domestic lithography machines. It can be seen that not only to break through DUV, EUV technology is also tackling difficulties. It is understood that Shanghai Microelectronics 28 nanometers lithography machine is being tested and EUV may not be far away. Even ASML did not expect this, and I am afraid that even the United States was surprised. The tighter the chip restrictions, the faster the breakthrough speed of Chinese lithography machines. No wonder ASML has begun to reverse its attitude now. Some foreign media said, the Chinese lithography machine puzzle is almost complete.